MLB.net presents Poker Tonight. Coming up, 21-year-old Annette Oberstadt adds to her already impressive career with a win at the Aussie Millions. The LAPC kicked off this week with a bang, a record-setting tournament, and Poker Tonight was there for the million-dollar-plus prize pool. We'll be joined in studio by Mike the Mouth Mattiso, and he brings along one of his classic beats in our newest segment, Mikey's Meltdowns. Later, we go all in blind using only our intuition for a rapid-fire take on the week's mystery poker news. And speaking of tuition, the AbsolutePoker.net College Challenge concluded this week, and we'll meet the lucky student who took it down. All that plus Dana Workman flunks the entire class in the weekly miss deal on Poker Tonight. Hello and welcome to Poker Tonight. I'm Scott Huff, and alongside me is Joe Seabach coming to you from Los Angeles, where the weather has been perfect for poker. Well, it's definitely been perfect for staying indoors. I'm actually surprised that people have even made it from their homes to the Commerce Casino to play in any of those LAPC events. Well, with the guarantees so huge, it's pretty obvious you've got to get there. You just absolutely have to. A lot of poker action heating up this week. A WPT is going on in Biloxi and right here in Los Angeles. As we mentioned, the LA Poker Classic kicked off 30-plus days of poker last week by holding a million-dollar guaranteed tournament with a very interesting hook. Uh, this is the event number one of the LAPC. Uh, it's the Million Dollar Guarantee 335 buy-in. We tried a little something different earlier this year. It was called a re-entry. So basically, you can buy in the first day, and if you bust out, you can buy in the next day for the same tournament. You know, after the first day, we had such terrible rainstorms, and everybody came in. We still had 1,282 the first day. I didn't think we'd have any problem making the guarantee at all. That's the way it's going. It's pretty much over a million dollars after three days. Uh, basically, this is the largest tournament in the world outside of the World Series of Poker, probably number seven of all time. And even with its low buy-in, it has attracted many top players. You can't beat this 300 bucks for 400000 I mean, nowhere in poker. I mean, some World Series events don't pay that. Matt Savage is awesome for poker. He put together an unbelievable schedule, and uh, he's the best tournament director out there, bar none. I never saw a crowd like this since the World Series main event. There's also, there's nowhere you can, you know, even pay $1,000 and get a $300,000 first prize. Right. So right. even paying all four days, you know, you can't complain. Yeah. $300,000. How can you go wrong getting yeah. 300 times your money in a field of 85% of people who probably, you know, don't even know what they're doing? Exactly. It's not just a great return on investment, but the low buy in also encouraged re entry. Uh, I played the first day. I didn't play yesterday, and I'm back to play today, right? I'm an alternate, so I mean, I'm going up to play right now. I'm coming back tomorrow to play tomorrow again if I get busted, yeah. If I bust out, I'll be back tomorrow for sure. Uh, I only played the first day. Uh, I didn't want to come back the second day because I was playing pretty bad the first day, but I'm coming back to day three, and hopefully I won't have to come back to day four. Tournament host the Commerce Casino has the world's largest live poker room. It's so hard to get so many people into uh, one place at the same time. Uh, you have to have a, you know, at least a hundred table room, and you have to have the players, and LA has both. I think this is the best kind of tournament where people come out and play because, you know, for this event to have such a small buy-in, such a big guarantee, it's life-changing money for a lot of people to win this event, and not only that, to even make the final table. So for $300, you have a real shot to make a lot of money, over $300,000 for first. Pretty gutsy move, guaranteeing a million dollars for a $335 buy-in. They go out, though, and they get it. They had a minimum of 1,200 players start each day, 1,800 on the last day, and over 4,800 total buy-ins for this thing. What do you think made this so much more appealing than, say, a traditional rebuy tournament? Well, first off, this is a tournament where the winner is taking home over $350,000 for a $330 buy-in. So pretty incredible right off the top. In addition, there are four starting days. Right? So you can bust the first three days and still play the fourth day. Not like a rebuy, right? You're going to be starting on the level playing field. Everyone has the same chips going in. So it's a pretty incredible tournament, sort of unprecedented. Well, one person that was definitely a big fan of the format was Daryl Kane, who came back from just 800 chips to win the first event of this year's LAPC. Congratulations, Daryl. Now, Norwegian poker pro Annette Oberstad, also known as Annette 15, had already won hundreds of thousands of dollars in her poker career before she became the youngest player ever to win a World Series of Poker in Europe at 18 years old. Last week, Annette defeated an elite 160-player field to take down an Omaha event in Australia for $40,000. It was her first Omaha win and made her the first female to ever win an event at the Aussie Millions. Congratulations, Annette. One of the things I like about Annette so much is she really continues to push that envelope which forces us to see each other as poker players rather than female or male poker player. She is an absolute beast. She's been killing it online, already won the bracelet in Europe. This is going to be her first World Series in the States as she just turned 21. 
I'm not going to guarantee that she wins a bracelet, but she's going to be a force at the Rio come this summer. Yeah, I mean, every media outlet is going to be following her for sure at this year's World Series. Now let's check in with another beast, Dana Workman, and see what she's planning to take down tonight in the Weekly Miss Deal. Hey guys, coming up tonight, a World Series of Poker bracelet for sale on eBay. The Rio turns 20, and Sega opens up an online casino. The video game company. <laughs> yep, say hello to Sonic the Pip Boss. I had Super NES. So how about instead you check out UB.net and the Poker Tonight Pro Challenge. They're giving away two main event prize packages every week. More info on that later in the show. Up next on Poker Tonight, we'll be joined by three-time World Series of Poker bracelet winner Mike the Mouth Matisseau. Back right after this.